A USB flash drive is a data storage device that includes flash memory with an integrated universal serial bus interface. USB flash drives are typically removable and rewritable, and physically much smaller than an optical disk. Most weigh less than 30 grams. As of January 2013, drives of up to 512 gigabytes were available. A 1 terabyte drive was unveiled at the 2013 Consumer Electronics Show and became available later that year. Storage capacities as large as 2 TB are planned, with steady improvements in size and price per capacity expected. Some allow up to 100,000 write array cycles, depending on the exact type of memory chip used, and have a 10-year shelf storage time. USB flash drives are often used for the same purposes for which floppy disks or CDs were used, that is, for storage, backup and transfer of computer files. They are smaller, faster, have thousands of times more capacity, and are more durable and reliable because they have no moving parts. Additionally, they are immune to magnetic interference, and unharmed by surface scratches. Until about 2005, most desktop and laptop computers were supplied with floppy disk drives in addition to USB ports, but floppy disk drives have been abandoned due to their lower capacity compared to USB flash drives. USB flash drives use the USB mass storage standard, supported natively by modern operating systems such as Linux, OS X, Windows, and other Unix-like systems, as well as many BIOS boot ROMs. USB drives with USB 2.0 support can store more data and transfer faster than much larger optical disk drives like CD-RW or DVD-RW drives and can be read by many other systems such as the XBOX A360, PlayStation A3, DVD players and in a number of handheld devices such as smartphones and tablet computers, though the electronically similar SD card is better suited for those devices. A flash drive consists of a small printed circuit board carrying the circuit elements and a USB connector, insulated electrically and protected inside a plastic, metal, or rubberized case which can be carried in a pocket or on a keychain, for example. The USB connector may be protected by a removable cap or by retracting into the body of the drive, although it is not likely to be damaged if unprotected. Most flash drives use a standard type A USB connection allowing connection with a port on a personal computer, but drives for other interfaces also exist. USB flash drives draw power from the computer via the USB connection. Some devices combine the functionality of a digital audio player with USB flash storage. They require a battery only when used to play music. History, Patent Controversy USB flash drives were invented by Amir Ban, Dov Moran and Aaron Ogden, all of the Israeli company M Systems, who filed U.S. patent 6,148,354 in April 1999. However, the patent describes a product that has a cable between the memory unit and the USB connector. Released later the same year, IBM Patent Disclosure RPS 8 1999 0201 from September 13, 1999, by Shimon Shmili accurately describes the USB flash drive. IBM partnered with M Systems to bring the product to market. Shmili was later an expert witness for M Systems and, as part of his testimony in the Singapore court, presented the IBM disclosure and evidence to the fact that he invented the USB flash drive. M Systems product, developed by a team led by Dan Hikabi and named the Discon Key, was announced in September 2000. Competing claims have been made by Singaporean company Trek Technology and Chinese company Natak Technology, but these claims are based on patents that post-date M Systems. Both Trek Technology and Natak Technology have tried to protect their patent claims. Trek won a Singaporean suit but a court in the United Kingdom revoked one of Trek's UK patents. While Natak Technology has brought lawsuits against PNY Technologies, Lenovo, Aigo, Sony, and Taiwan's Acer and Taiguan Enterprise Company, most companies that manufacture USB flash drives do so without regard for Trek and Natak's patents. Fewer Kind Seng from Malaysia claims to have incorporated the world's first single-chip USB flash controller. He is currently the CEO of Fison Electronics Corporation, which is based in Taiwan. 
first commercial product, Trek Technology and IBM began selling the first USB flash drives commercially in 2000. Trek Technology sold a model under the brand name Thumb Drive, and IBM marketed the first such drives in North America with its product name the Discon Key, which was developed and manufactured by M Systems. IBM's USB flash drive became available on December 15, 2000, and had a storage capacity of 8 MB, more than five times the capacity of the then common floppy disks. In 2000, Lexor introduced a compact flash card with a USB connection, and a companion card read writer and USB cable that eliminated the need for a USB hub. Second generation, in 2013. Most USB flash drives have USB 2.0 connectivity. USB 2.0 The high-speed specification has a 480 megabit per second upper bound on the transfer rate, but after protocol overhead, that translates to only 35 megabytes per second effective throughput. The fastest USB 2.0 flash drives approach that speed. That is considerably slower than hard disk drive or solid state drive can transfer through a SATA interface. File transfer speeds vary considerably. Speeds may be given in megabytes per second, megabits per second or optical drive multipliers such as 180x per second. Typical fast drives claim to read at up to 30 megabytes per second and write at about half that speed. This is about 20 times faster than USB 1.1 full speed devices, which are limited to a maximum speed of 12 Mbit s. The speed of the device is significantly affected by the access pattern. For example, small writes to random locations are much slower than long sequential reads. Third generation, like USB 2.0 before it, USB 3.0 offers dramatically improved data transfer rates compared to its predecessor. It was announced in late 2008, but consumer devices were not available until the beginning of 2010. The USPA 3.0 interface specifies transfer rates up to 5 Mbit s, compared to USPA 2.0's 480 Mbit s. All USPA 3.0 devices are backward compatible with USPA 2.0 ports. As of April 2014, computers with USPA 3.0 ports are common. Most newer laptops and desktops have at least one such port. USPA 3.0 port expansion cards are available to upgrade older systems, and many newer motherboards feature two or more USPA 3.0 ports available through PCB headers. Storage capacity The first USB flash drive appeared on the market in late 2000, providing a storage capacity of 8 MB. Later, the maximum available storage capacity gradually doubled all the way up to reaching capacities of 512 GB and 1 TB by January 2013. However, as of May 2014 flash drives with anywhere from 8 to 128 GB are still frequently sold. Design and implementation, on a USB flash drive, one end of the device is fitted with a single standard A USB plug. Some flash drives additionally offer a micro USB plug, facilitating data transfers between different devices. Inside the plastic casing is a small printed circuit board, which has some power circuitry and a small number of surface mounted integrated circuits. Typically, one of these ICs provides an interface between the USB connector and then board memory, while the other is the flash memory. In October 2013, Paris claims the launch of the world's smallest USB 3.0 flash drive. Drives typically use the USB mass storage device class to communicate with the host. Technology Flash memory combines a number of older technologies, with lower cost, lower power consumption and small size made possible by advances in microprocessor technology. The memory storage was based on earlier EPROM and EEPROM technologies. These had limited capacity, were slow for both reading and writing, required complex high-voltage drive circuitry, and could only be rewritten after erasing the entire contents of the chip. Hardware designers later developed EEPROMs with the erasure region broken up into smaller fields that could be erased individually without affecting the others. Altering the contents of a particular memory location involved copying the entire field into an off-chip buffer memory, erasing the field, modifying the data as required in the buffer, and rewriting it into the same field. 
this required considerable computer support, and PC-based EEPROM flash memory systems often carried their own dedicated microprocessor system. Flash drives are more or less a miniaturized version of this. The development of high-speed serial data interfaces such as USB-made semiconductor memory systems with serially accessed storage viable, and the simultaneous development of small, high-speed, low-power microprocessor systems allowed this to be incorporated into extremely compact systems. Serial access requires far fewer electrical connections for the memory chips than does parallel access, which has simplified the manufacture of multi-gigabyte drives. Computers access modern flash memory systems very much like hard disk drives, where the controller system has full control over where information is actually stored. The actual EEPROM writing and erasure processes are, however, still very similar to the earlier systems described above. Many low-cost MP3 players simply add extra software and a battery to a standard flash memory control microprocessor so it can also serve as a music playback decoder. Most of these players can also be used as a conventional flash drive, for storing files of any type. Essential Components There are typically five parts to a flash drive, standard A USB plug or Euro provides a physical interface to the host computer. USB mass storage controller A Euro a small microcontroller with a small amount of on-chip ROM and RAM. NAND flash memory chip, S, A Euro stores data. Crystal oscillator A Euro produces the device's main 12 MHz clock signal and controls the device's data output through a phase lock loop. Cover A Euro typically made of plastic or metal, protecting the electronics against mechanical stress and even possible short circuits. Additional components, the typical device may also include, jumpers and test pins a euro for testing during the flash drive's manufacturing or loading code into the microprocessor. LEDs a euro indicate data transfers or data reads and writes. Write protect switches a euro enable or disable writing of data into memory. Unpopulated space a euro provides space to include a second memory chip. Having this second space allows the manufacturer to use a single printed circuit board for more than one storage size device. USB connector cover or cap a euro reduces the risk of damage, prevents the entry of dirt or other contaminants, and improves overall device appearance. Some flash drives use retractable USB connectors instead. Others have a swivel arrangement so that the connector can be protected without removing anything. Transport aid a euro the cap or the body often contains a hole suitable for connection to a keychain or lanyard. Connecting the cap, rather than the body, can allow the drive itself to be lost. Some drives offer expandable storage via an internal memory card slot, much like a memory card reader. Size and style of packaging. Some manufacturers differentiate their products by using elaborate housings which are often bulky and make the drive difficult to connect to the USB port. Because the USB port connectors on a computer housing are often closely spaced, plugging a flash drive into a USB port may block an adjacent port. Such devices may only carry the USB logo if sold with a separate extension cable. Such cables are USB compatible but do not conform to the USB standard. USB flash drives have been integrated into other commonly carried items, such as watches, pens, and even the Swiss Army knife. Others have been fitted with novelty cases such as toy cars or Lego bricks. Particularly in the Far East bizarre USB flash drives with images of dragons, cats or aliens are very popular. The small size, robustness and cheapness of USB flash drives make them an increasingly popular peripheral for case modding. File system. Most flash drives ship pre-formatted with the FAT32 or XFAT file systems. The ubiquity of the FAT32 file system allows the drive to be accessed on virtually any host device with USB support. Also, standard FAT maintenance utilities can be used to repair or retrieve corrupted data. However, because a flash drive appears as a USB connected hard drive to the host system, the drive can be reformatted to any file system supported by the host operating system. Defragmenting, flash drives can be defragmented. There is a widespread opinion that defragmenting brings little advantage, 
and that defragmenting shortens the life of the drive by making many unnecessary writes. However some sources claim that defragmenting a flash drive can improve performance, and the additional wear on flash drives may not be significant. Even distribution, some file systems are designed to distribute usage over an entire memory device without concentrating usage on any part to prolong the life of simple flash memory devices. Some USB flash drives have this wear leveling feature built into the software controller to prolong device life, while others do not, so it is not necessarily helpful to install one of these file systems. Hard drive, sectors are 512 bytes long, for compatibility with hard drives, and the first sector can contain a master boot record and a partition table. Therefore, USB flash units can be partitioned just like hard drives. Longevity, the memory in flash drives is commonly engineered with multi-level cell-based memory that is good for around 3000 to 5000 program array cycles, but some flash drives have single-level cell-based memory that is good for around 100,000 writes. There is virtually no limit to the number of reads from such flash memory, so a well-worn USB drive may be write protected to help ensure the life of individual cells. Regardless of the endurance of the memory itself, the USB connector hardware is specified to withstand only around 1,500 insert removal cycles. Fake products, fake USB flash drives are sometimes sold, claiming to have higher capacities than they actually have. These are typically low-capacity USB drives which are modified so that they emulate larger capacity drives. When plugged into a computer, they report themselves as being the larger capacity they were sold as, but when data is written to them either the write fails, the drive freezes up, or it overwrites existing data. Software tools exist to check and detect fake USB drives. In some cases it is possible to repair these devices to remove the false capacity information and use them normally. File transfer speeds, USB flash drives usually specify their read and write speeds in megabytes per second. Read speed is usually faster. These speeds are for optimal conditions. Real-world speeds are usually slower. In particular, circumstances that often lead to speeds much lower than advertised are transfer of many small files rather than a few very large ones, and mixed reading and writing to the same device. In a typical well-conducted review of a number of high-performance USPA 3.0 drives, a drive that could read large files at 68 megabyte per second and write at 46 megabyte per second could only manage 14 megabyte per second and 0.3 megabyte per second with many small files. When combining streaming reads and writes the speed of another drive, that could read at 92 megabyte per second and write at 70 megabyte per second was 8 megabyte per second. These differences differ radically from one drive to another. Some drives could write small files at over 10% of the speed for large ones. The examples given are chosen to illustrate extremes. Uses, personal data transport, the most common use of flash drives is to transport and store personal files, such as documents, pictures and videos. Individuals also store medical information on flash drives for emergencies and disaster preparation. Secure storage of data application and software files, with wide deployment, s, of flash drives being used in various environments, the issue of data and information security remains important. The use of biometrics and encryption is becoming the norm with the need for increased security for data. On-the-fly encryption systems are particularly useful in this regard, as they can transparently encrypt large amounts of data. In some cases a secure USB drive may use a hardware-based encryption mechanism that uses a hardware module instead of software for strongly encrypting data. IEEE 1667 is an attempt to create a generic authentication platform for USB drives. It is supported in Windows 7 and Windows Vista. Computer Forensics and Law Enforcement a recent development for the use of a USB flash drive as an application carrier is to carry the computer online forensic evidence extractor application developed by Microsoft. COFE is a set of applications designed to search for and extract digital evidence on computers confiscated from suspects. Forensic software is required not to alter, in any way, the information stored on the computer being examined. 
Other forensic suites run from CD-ROM or DVD-ROM, but cannot store data on the media they are run from. Updating motherboard firmware Motherboard firmwares can be updated using USB flash drives. Usually, new firmware image is downloaded and placed onto a FAT16 or FAT32 formatted USB flash drive connected to a system which is to be updated, and path to the new firmware image is selected within the update component of system's firmware. Some motherboard manufacturers are also allowing such updates to be performed without the need for entering system's firmware update component, making it possible to easily recover systems with corrupted firmwares. Also, HP has introduced a USB floppy drive key, which is an ordinary USB flash drive with additional persilability for performing floppy drive emulation, allowing its usage for updating system firmwares where direct usage of USB flash drives is not supported. Desired mode of operation is made selectable by a sliding switch on the device's housing. Booting operating systems, most current PC firmware permits booting from a USB drive allowing the launch of an operating system from a bootable flash drive. Such a configuration is known as a live USB. Original flash memory designs had very limited estimated lifetimes. The failure mechanism for flash memory cells is analogous to a metal fatigue mode. The device fails by refusing to write new data to specific cells that have been subject to many read-write cycles over the device's lifetime. Premature failure of a live USB could be circumvented by using a flash drive with a write lock switch as a worm device, identical to a live CD. Originally, this potential failure mode limited the use of live USB system to special purpose applications or temporary tasks, such as loading a minimal, hardened kernel for embedded applications, bootstrapping an operating system install or disk cloning operation, often across a network. Maintenance tasks, such as virus scanning or low-level data repair, without the primary host operating system loaded. As of 2011, newer flash memory designs have much higher estimated lifetimes. Several manufacturers are now offering warranties of five years or more. Such warranties should make the device more attractive for more applications. By reducing the probability of the device's premature failure, Flash memory devices can now be considered for use where a magnetic disk would normally have been required. Flash drives have also experienced an exponential growth in their storage capacity over time. As of 2013, single package devices with capacities of 1 TB are readily available, and devices with 16 GB capacity are very economical. Storage capacities in this range have traditionally been considered to offer adequate space because they allow enough space for both the operating system software and some free space for the user's data. Operating system installation media, some operating systems can be installed from a flash drive instead of a CD or DVD. Such operating systems include some Linux distributions, Windows 7, Windows 8, and Mac OS X. In particular, Mac OS X 10.7 is distributed only online or on flash drives. If one has a MacBook Air with Boot Camp and no external optical drive, they can use a flash drive to install Windows. Windows Vista, Windows 7 and Windows 8 Ready Boost In Windows Vista, Windows 7, and Windows 8, the Ready Boost feature allows flash drives to augment operating system memory. Application Carriers Flash drives are used to carry applications that run on the host computer without requiring installation. While any standalone application can in principle be used this way, many programs store data, configuration information, etc. on the hard drive and registry of the host computer. The U3 company works with drive makers to deliver custom versions of applications designed for Microsoft Windows from a special flash drive. U3 compatible devices are designed to autoload a menu when plugged into a computer running Windows. Applications must be modified for the U3 platform not to leave any data on the host machine. U3 also provides a software framework for independent software vendors interested in their platform. Cedo is an alternative product, with the key difference that it does not require Windows applications to be modified in order for them to be carried and run on the drive. Similarly, 
other application virtualization solutions and portable application creators, such as BMW AR Ethan APP or UNZ can be used to run software from a flash drive without installation. In October 2010, Apple Incorporated released their newest iteration of the MacBook Air, which had the system's restore files contained on a USB card drive rather than the traditional install CDs, due to the Air not coming with an optical drive. A wide range of portable applications which are all free of charge, and able to run off a computer running Windows without storing anything on the host computer's drives or registry, can be found in the list of portable software. Backup some value-added resellers are now using a flash drive as part of small business turnkey solutions. The drive is used as a backup medium, at the close of business each night, the drive is inserted, and a database backup is saved to the drive. Alternatively, the drive can be left inserted through the business day, and data regularly updated. In either case, the drive is removed at night and taken off-site. This is simple for the end user and more likely to be done, the drive is small and convenient, and more likely to be carried off-site for safety, the drives are less fragile mechanically and magnetically than tapes, the capacity is often large enough for several backup images of critical data, flash drives are cheaper than many other backup systems, flash drives also have disadvantages. They are easy to lose. And it may be easy for unauthorized people to make backups. A lesser setback for flash drives is that they have only one-tenth the capacity of hard drives manufactured around their time of distribution. Audio players, many companies make small solid-state digital audio players, essentially producing flash drives with sound output and a simple user interface. Examples include the Creative Muvo, Philips Go Gear and the first-generation iPod Shuffle. Some of these players are true USB flash drives as well as music players. Others do not support general purpose data storage. Other applications requiring storage, such as digital voice or sound recording, can also be combined with flash drive functionality. Many of the smallest players are powered by a permanently fitted rechargeable battery, charged from the USB interface. Fancier devices that function as a digital audio player have a USB host port. Media storage and marketing Digital audio files can be transported from one computer to another like any other file, and played on a compatible media player. In addition, many home hi-fi and car stereo head units are now equipped with a USB port. This allows a USB flash drive containing media files in a variety of formats to be played directly on devices which support the format. Some LCD monitors for consumer HDTV viewing have a dedicated USB port through which music and video files can also be played without use of a personal computer. Artists have sold or given away USB flash drives, with the first instance believed to be in 2004 when the German band WIZO released the Stick EP, only as a USB drive. In addition to 5 high bit rate MP3S, it also included a video, pictures, lyrics, and guitar tablature. Subsequently, artists including Nine Inch Nails and Killy Minogue have released music and promotional material on USB flash drives. The first USB album to be released in the UK was Kiss Doe's. Rave, a compilation album released by the Kiss Network in April 2007. Brand and product promotion. The availability of inexpensive flash drives has enabled them to be used for promotional and marketing purposes particularly within technical and computer industry circles. They may be given away for free, sold at less than wholesale price, or included as a bonus with another purchased product. Usually, such drives will be custom stamped with a company's logo, as a form of advertising. The drive may be blank, or preloaded with graphics, documentation, web links, flash animation or other multimedia, and free or demonstration software. Some preloaded drives are read only, while others are configured with both read only and user writable segments. Such dual partition drives are more expensive. Flash drives can be set up to automatically launch stored presentations, websites, articles, and any other software immediately on insertion of the drive using the Microsoft Windows Auto Run feature. Auto running software this way does not work on all computers, 
and it is normally disabled by security conscious users. Security systems Windows Vista uses flash drives as certificate carriers for BitLocker encryption on system drives, on systems which do not support TPMs. Some software uses flash drives with hidden data as an offline activation method. Arcades In the arcade game in the Groove and more commonly in the Groove 2, flash drives are used to transfer high scores, screenshots, dance edits, and combos throughout sessions. As of Software Revision 21, Players can also store custom songs and play them on any machine on which this feature is enabled. While use of flash drives is common, the drive must be Linux compatible. In the arcade games Pump It Up NX2 and Pump It Up NXA, a specially produced flash drive is used as a save file for unlocked songs, as well as for progressing in the world max and brain shower sections of the game. In the arcade game Dance Dance Revolution X, an exclusive USB flash drive was made by Konami for the purpose of the link feature from its Sony PlayStation 2 counterpart. However, any USB flash drives can be used in this arcade game. Advantages and Disadvantages Advantages Flash drives use little power, have no fragile moving parts, and for most capacities are small and light. Data stored on flash drives is impervious to mechanical shock, magnetic fields, scratches and dust. These properties make them suitable for transporting data from place to place and keeping the data readily at hand. Flash drives also store data densely compared to many removable media. In mid-2009, 256 gigabytes drives became available, with the ability to hold many times more data than a DVD or even a Blu-ray disc. Flash drives implement the USB mass storage device class so that most modern operating systems can read and write to them without installing device drivers. The flash drives present a simple block-structured logical unit to the host operating system, hiding the individual complex implementation details of the various underlying flash memory devices. The operating system can use any file system or block addressing scheme. Some computers can boot up from flash drives. Specially manufactured flash drives are available that have a tough rubber or metal casing designed to be waterproof and virtually unbreakable. These flash drives retain their memory after being submerged in water, and even through a machine wash. Leaving such a flash drive out to dry completely before allowing current to run through it has been known to result in a working drive with no future problems. Channel 5's Gadget Show cooked one of these flash drives with propane, froze it with dry ice, submerged it in various acidic liquids, ran over it with a jeep and fired it against a wall with a mortar. A company specializing in recovering lost data from computer drives managed to recover all the data on the drive. All data on the other removable storage devices tested, using optical or magnetic technologies, were destroyed. Disadvantages Like all flash memory devices, Flash drives can sustain only a limited number of write and array cycles before the drive fails. This should be a consideration when using a flash drive to run application software or an operating system. To address this, as well as space limitations, some developers have produced special versions of operating systems or commonplace applications designed to run from flash drives. These are typically optimized for size and configured to place temporary or intermediate files in the computer's main RAM rather than store them temporarily on the flash drive. When used in the same manner as external rotating drives, I. E. In ignorance of their technology, USB drives failure is more likely to be sudden, while rotating drives can fail instantaneously, they more frequently give some indication that they are about to fail often with enough advance warning that data can be removed before total failure. USB drives give little or no advance warning of failure. Furthermore, when internal wear leveling is applied to prolong life of the flash drive, once failure of even part of the memory occurs it can be difficult or impossible to use the remainder of the drive, which differs from magnetic media, where bad sectors can be marked permanently not to be used. Most USB flash drives do not include a write protection mechanism. This feature, which gradually became less common, consists of a switch on the housing of the drive itself, that prevents the host computer from writing or modifying data on the drive. For example, 
write protection makes a device suitable for repairing virus-contaminated host computers without the risk of infecting a USB flash drive itself. In contrast to SD cards, write protection on USB flash drives is connected to the drive circuitry, and is handled by drive itself instead of the host. A drawback to the small size of flash drives is that they are easily misplaced, left behind, or otherwise lost. This is a particular problem if the data they contain are sensitive. As a consequence, some manufacturers have added encryption hardware to their Dravesa Euro although software encryption systems which can be used in conjunction with any mass storage medium achieve the same thing. Most drives can be attached to keychains, necklaces and lanyards. The USB plug is usually fitted with a removable and easily lost protective cap, or is retractable. USB flash drives are more expensive per unit of storage than large hard drives, but are less expensive in capacities of a few tens of gigabytes as of 2011. Maximum available capacity is increasing with time, but is less than larger hard drives. This balance is changing, but the rate of change is slowing. Most USB-based flash technology integrates a printed circuit board with a metal tip, which is simply soldered on. As a result, the stress point is where the two pieces join. The quality control of some manufacturers does not ensure a proper solder temperature, further weakening the stress point. Since many flash drives stick out from computers, they are likely to be bumped repeatedly and may break at the stress point. Most of the time, a break at the stress point tears the joint from the printed circuit board and results in permanent damage. However, some manufacturers produce discrete flash drives that do not stick out, and others use a solid metal uni body that has no easily discernible stress point. SD cards serve as a good alternative to USB drives since they can be inserted flush. Comparison with other portable storage. Tape. The applications of current data tape cartridges hardly overlap those of flash drives. On tape, cost per gigabyte is very low for large volumes but the individual drives and media are expensive. Media has a very high capacity and very fast transfer speeds, but store data sequentially and is very slow for random access of data. While disk-based backup is now the primary medium of choice for most companies, tape backup is still popular for taking data off-site for worst-case scenarios and for very large volumes. CLTO tapes Floppy disk Floppy disk drives are rarely fitted to modern computers and are obsolete for normal purposes, although internal and external drives can be fitted if required. Floppy disks may be the method of choice for transferring data to and from very old computers without USB or booting from floppy disks, and so they are sometimes used to change the firmware on, for example, BIOS chips. Devices with removable storage like older Yamaha music keyboards are also dependent on floppy disks which require computers to process them. Newer devices are built with USB flash drive support. Optical media, the various writable and rewritable forms of CD and DVD are portable storage media supported by the vast majority of computers as of 2008. CDR, DVDR, and DVD plus are can be written to only once, RW varieties up to about 1000 arrays write cycles, while modern NAND-based flash drives often last for 500,000 or more arrays write cycles. DVD-RAM disks are the most suitable optical disks for data storage involving much rewriting. Optical storage devices are among the cheapest methods of mass data storage after the hard drive. They are slower than their flash-based counterparts. Standard 12 cm optical disks are larger than flash drives and more subject to damage. Smaller optical media do exist, such as business card CDRS which have the same dimensions as a credit card, and the slightly less convenient but higher capacity 8 cm recordable mini CD and mini DVD. The small disks are more expensive than the standard size, and do not work in all drives. Universal Disk Format version 1.50 and above has facilities to support rewritable disks like sparing tables and virtual allocation tables spreading usage over the entire surface of a disk and maximizing life, but many older operating systems do not support this format. Packet writing utilities such as Direct CD and in CD are available but produce disks that are not universally readable. 
The Mount Rainier standard addresses this shortcoming in CDRW media by running the older file systems on top of it and performing defect management for those standards, but it requires support from both the CD DVD burner and the operating system. Many drives made today do not support Mount Rainier, and many older operating systems such as Windows XP and below, and Linux kernels older than 2.6.2, .2, do not support it. Essentially CDs DVDs are a good way to record a great deal of information cheaply and have the advantage of being readable by most standalone players, but they are poor at making ongoing small changes to a large collection of information. Flash drive's ability to do this is their major advantage over optical media. Flash memory cards, flash memory cards, for example, secure digital cards, are available in various formats and capacities, and are used by many consumer devices. However, while virtually all PCs have USB ports, allowing the use of USB flash drives, memory card readers are not commonly supplied as standard equipment. Although inexpensive card readers are available that read many common formats, this results in two pieces of portable equipment rather than one. Some manufacturers, aiming at a best of both worlds solution, have produced card readers that approach the size and form of USB flash drives. These readers are limited to a specific subset of memory card formats, and often completely enclose the card, offering durability and portability approaching, if not quite equal to, that of a flash drive. Although the combined cost of a mini reader and a memory card is usually slightly higher than a USB flash drive of comparable capacity, the Reader Plus card solution offers additional flexibility of use and virtually unlimited capacity. The ubiquity of SD cards is such that, circa 2011, due to economies of scale, their price is now less than an equivalent capacity USB flash drive, even with the added $2 cost of a USB SD card reader. An additional advantage of memory cards is that many consumer devices cannot make use of USB flash drives, whereas the memory cards used by the devices can be read by PCs with a card reader. External hard disk, particularly with the advent of USB, external hard disks have become widely available and inexpensive. External hard disk drives currently cost less per gigabyte than flash drives and are available in larger capacities. Some hard drives support alternative and faster interfaces than USB 2.0. For consecutive sector writes and reads, most hard drives can provide a much higher sustained data rate than current NAND flash memory, though mechanical latencies seriously impact hard drive performance. Unlike solid-state memory, hard drives are susceptible to damage by shock and vibration, have limitations on use at high altitude, and although they are shielded by their casings, they are vulnerable when exposed to strong magnetic fields. In terms of overall mass, Hard drives are usually larger and heavier than flash drives. However, hard disks sometimes weigh less per unit of storage. Like flash drives, hard disks also suffer from file fragmentation, which can reduce access speed. Obsolete devices, audio tape cassettes and high-capacity floppy disks, and other forms of drives with removable magnetic media, such as the iOmega Zip and Jazz drives, are now largely obsolete and rarely used. There are products in today's market that will emulate these legacy drives for both tape and disk in state-of-the-art compact flash storage devices a Euro CF2 a CSI. Encryption and security. As highly portable media, USB flash drives are easily lost or stolen. All USB flash drives can have their contents encrypted using third-party disk encryption software, which can often be run directly from the USB drive without installation, although some such as TrueCrypt, require the user to have administrative rights on every computer it's run on. Archiving software can achieve a similar result by creating encrypted zip or RAR files. Some manufacturers have produced USB flash drives which use hardware-based encryption as part of the design, removing the need for third-party encryption software. In limited circumstances these drives have been shown to have security problems and are typically more expensive than software-based systems, which are available for free. A minority of flash drives support biometric fingerprinting to confirm the user's identity. As of mid-2005, 
This was an expensive alternative to standard password protection offered on many new USB flash storage devices. Most fingerprint scanning drives rely upon the host operating system to validate the fingerprint via a software driver, often restricting the drive to Microsoft Windows computers. However, there are USB drives with fingerprint scanners which use controllers that allow access to protected data without any authentication. Some manufacturers deploy physical authentication tokens in the form of a flash drive. These are used to control access to a sensitive system by containing encryption keys or, more commonly, communicating with security software on the target machine. The system is designed so the target machine will not operate except when the flash drive device is plugged into it. Some of these PC lock devices also function as normal flash drives when plugged into other machines. Security threats Flash drives may present a significant security challenge for some organizations. Their small size and ease of use allows unsupervised visitors or employees to store and smuggle out confidential data with little chance of detection. Both corporate and public computers are vulnerable to attackers connecting a flash drive to a free USB port and using malicious software such as keyboard loggers or packet sniffers. For computers set up to be bootable from a USB drive, it is possible to use a flash drive containing a bootable portable operating system to access the files of the computer, even if the computer is password protected. The password can then be changed, or it may be possible to crack the password with a password cracking program and gain full control over the computer. Encrypting files provides considerable protection against this type of attack. USB flash drives may also be used deliberately or unwittingly to transfer malware and or to run worms onto a network. Some organizations forbid the use of flash drives, and some computers are configured to disable the mounting of USB mass storage devices by users other than administrators. Others use third-party software to control USB usage. The use of software allows the administrator to not only provide a USB lock but also control the use of CDRW, SD cards and other memory devices. This enables companies with policies forbidding the use of USB flash drives in the workplace to enforce these policies. In a lower tech security solution, some organizations disconnect USB ports inside the computer or fill the USB sockets with epoxy. Some of the security measures taken to prevent confidential data from being taken have presented some side effects such as curtailing user privileges of recharging mobile devices off the USB ports on the systems. Naming, in 2005, Microsoft was using the term USB flash drive as the common name for these devices when they introduced the Microsoft USB flash drive manager application. Alternative names are commonly used many of which are trademarks of various manufacturers. Current and future developments Semiconductor corporations have worked to reduce the cost of the components in a flash drive by integrating various flash drive functions in a single chip, thereby reducing the part count and overall package cost. Flash drive capacities on the market increase continually. As of 2010, few manufacturers continue to produce models of one a GB and smaller, and many have started to phase out to a GB capacity flash memory. High speed has become a standard for modern flash drives. Capacities of up to 256 a GB have come on the market, as of 2009. Lexor is attempting to introduce a USB flash card, which would be a compact USB flash drive intended to replace various kinds of flash memory cards. Preetk introduced a similar card, which also plugs into any USB port but is just one quarter the thickness of the Lexor model. Until 2008, SanDisk manufactured a product called SD+, which was a secure digital card with a USB connector. SanDisk has also introduced a new technology to allow controlled storage and usage of copyrighted materials on flash drives, primarily for use by students. This technology is termed Flash CP. See also, Dead Drop, Portable Application, Ready Boost, Windows to Go, USB Flash Drive Alliance, References External links